Okay world, uh, this is a video of a 1999 Dodge Ram uh, 2500. Uh, Cummins turbo diesel, uh, like 1999 is the year. So this is in reference to 1999. Um, just this video is just about putting this little piece back. I've been doing some work on this. Uh, I don't know what you call it. I guess you'd call it maybe the map map reading console. Or if there's any mechanics that are watching this that do this every day that know what the proper name of this whole assembly overhead assembly is. So uh, maybe you can put a comment down. Anyways, I had to remove it because I broke this switch. Uh, so, and I ended up repairing it. Um, so, as you can see, I used uh, JB Weld uh, on the back of it, which is some new stuff for me. Uh, but it's uh, pretty pretty awesome stuff. Has some good uses. Anyways, looks like that I had to remove this. Actually, I don't think I did have to remove this. No, I didn't have to remove this really, but I ended up, you know, because I, I don't do this for a living, so. Um, and this should just snap in. Yep, just snaps in just like that. And uh, you just reverse would be, uh, I think, I forget how I got it out. I think I just put a little screwdriver between one of these edges real carefully here and uh, just pried it out. It just comes straight out. Uh, it has little, how it's made is it has a straight thing with a little, you know, little edge on it so that when it goes in it snaps. So all of there's a snap, you know, snap, 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 so it just pushes straight in so it reverse would be just pulling it straight out. But uh, actually you don't, re re you don't need to remove this to uh, remove this headliner piece, this uh, console. Uh, these pieces right here, this piece and this one, these push down and this thing comes away and up in behind here and behind this little uh, like wetsuit rubber material or foam, sticky foam stuff, um, peeling it back so you can see it, um, you can see it just, this has uh, plastic like, like fingers on it like this that just go that stick out of it that go into there's two holes in the actual roof of the cab so it just slides into those first and then snaps up and these things go snap snap you know they push against it so the reverse taking this thing out is pushing these down push down and pull it away it, I guess it should pull away and then pull up and out this one did not um, it was rather really stubborn so I ended up pu pushing the whole pushing the whole thing this way to depress these two as I pushed it this way and then it popped away you know I got it high enough to where it compressed those enough to where I pulled it away and it came down cuz pushing these down and snapping it out the way it's supposed to come out just wasn't working it just wasn't doing it so I don't know why, um, but that's the way it ended up coming out, how I told you I got it out, and I didn't damage anything, so um, excuse the headliner, it has a spot or two on it, it needs, uh, i got to get some cleaning stuff and go over the headliner, but anyways, um, but anyways, like I said, the, this, this main piece itself has two little, like, plastic hooky things that hook into the the main metal of the cab that's behind this headliner and it just it goes in real easy I mean I just pushed it you know slid it over the thing and pushed up and these went snap snap they were a little stubborn again one of them snapped in and the other one I had to push and play with it a bit so I don't know what's with the alignment of it or something but anyways but anyways I'm almost done uh, putting it all back together and uh, I found I had a bad light bulb that's why I ended up pushing on the switch so hard I broke it. I was being abusive with it. So, anyways, if you got a weird problem with the light bulb not working, it's not the switch. It's just <laughs> replace the light bulb before you end up mashing your switch thing to, to death and being uh, irate with it. So, anyways, uh, these this is a 1999. These are, this light bulb is original. This is the one from the passenger side one because it never got used. So the driver's side bulb lasted, this is, um, like, it lasted till 
I guess last month, which would be April of 2012. It lasted from 1999, like August of 1999 to July, you know, to April of 2012, which is pretty awesome for light bulbs. I love factory stuff, man. It lasts so long. Um, probably the replacement light bulb will only last like a year. <laughs> it's like, it's so amazing. Anyways, so I got new light bulbs. I'm here at uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts, which used to be Craigans. So I got myself some uh, new 579s, by the way, are the numbers, I believe. So I got to uh, throw a light bulb in here and throw the covers back on. And I'll make another video of how to put the covers back in here in a minute. Okay, thanks for watching.